You know they say autumn is like Christmas for us fashion peeps. And well, I'm pretty inclined to agree. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite autumn or fall outfits. Autumn I think is just the perfect time to get your fashion game together because you can actually play around with layering, you can express yourself and you can get pretty creative with your style. I'm not going to lie, this might just be the best outfits video I've ever put together. We've got everything. Heavyweight knits, beautiful earthy tones and some pops of colour in there too. Without a doubt these outfits are cosy, stylish and super simple to put together and I really think just make the most of this season's potential. As always with me, everything will be linked down below so if anything catches your eye make sure to go and check it out in the description also make sure to drop this video a like and subscribe it really helps the channel out so i can continue to make more great men's fashion videos just like this one right let's begin Starting off with what is in my mind the perfect fall outfit. I've just been so excited to break out all my knitwear again. So to start we've got this oversized chunky wool knit from Finisterre in this stunning rich olive green. It's so soft, cozy, incredibly warm and it's that deep earthy autumnal green that is just right for this season. I'm pairing it with some timeless wash black jeans and these are just absolutely my favourite jeans at the moment. The footwear I went with my chunky black loafers from Solibear in this beautiful high shine smooth leather. These are just such a solid pick for when you want an elevate an outfit but not take it too formal. Accessory wise I'm sticking with my trusty Cos Black leather crossbody bag. It's just the perfect size for my everyday essentials and just way more comfortable than a backpack. Very cozy, very timeless and a great outfit to just fall back on when I don't really know what to wear. Oh I don't know if I'm going to keep that in. That was that was terrible. <laughs> If green isn't the epitome of fall when it comes to colour, then it sure is brown. Brown to me at least is such a versatile and timeless colour. The key though is definitely getting the right tone or tones in the case of this album. This time we're starting with the stunning brown overshirt from the recent Uniqlo U collection. I've loosely tucked the shirt into these chunky brown corduroy trousers. On feet, I just went with my black leather Chelsea boots. These just add the perfect amount of smartness for this outfit. And for the outerwear to keep with the brown tones, I'm layering over this stunning brown coat also from the same collection. I just absolutely love these very soft and monochromatic outfits. They're just so chic to me. Typically I think going for a monochromatic outfit like this feels quite inherently smart, but by keeping everything more rounded and unstructured, it definitely tones down the formality and I think it just sits in this very nice middle ground where I feel put together, but I don't feel like I'm overdressed for anything. Actually, it's a really great example of how silhouette directly impacts how formal an outfit appears. Finally, I just added this beautiful black leather tote bag. It's practical for carrying everything around again and the smooth leather pairs well with the boots just to tie everything together. For outfit 3, we're keeping it monochromatic, but going for a slightly easier colour to dress with, blue. Blue is always a colour that I find myself falling back on when I want something really easy, but I still know looks put together. This Navy Fisherman's Knit is my newest autumn pickup, and you may be thinking it looks a little bit familiar, and that's because it's the same model as my favourite cream one that I wear all the time, the Mora Knit from Finisterre. I really wish you could feel just how soft and warm and cosy these knits are. Underneath that, I have a simple white cotton tee from Uniqlo. It's lightweight, it's breathable, and it's fitted enough to sit under the t-shirt without adding extra bulk. For the legwear here, I went with this straight fit wash blue pair, also from weekday, and I'm finished Finishing things off with my slim Solibear penny loafers. I really wanted a pop of colour, so I went with my red wax cotton cap from Sonpe Studios. Going for a monochromatic base like this is just perfect for a crisp, sunny autumn day, and a pop of colour always looks good too. Up next, I'm leading again with another beautiful knit. I really have just been waiting patiently to break them out again, and now the temperatures have dropped, I am definitely gonna make the most of them. Again, this is the Mora knit from Finisterre. You've seen this cream one countless times before. Now let's talk about these beautiful brown fatigue trousers, and these are from Ronnie. The earthy brown tone grounds the outfit and complements the cream perfectly. On feet again, I went with my chunky Solibear loafers to keep with that utilitarian style. And here, much like the last outfit, I decided to add a little pop of color with this beautiful cream and orange neck scarf from Dinner Service New York. Again, I I really love the colour combinations here, very autumnal so it feels right and I simply finish the outfit off with my black cap from Picante to top and tail the outfit, bringing it all together head to toe. For outfit 5, I'm not gonna lie, I just really wanted to wear this jacket. This is the Distressed Carpenter jacket from Cole Buxton, and I mean, this is just a beautiful jacket. It is pretty heavily distressed, which isn't by any means my usual style, but I have actually grown to realise distressing on garments is really not such a big deal, other than the odd comment from my mum asking why I bought a jacket with holes in it. But you know what they say? Is your outfit even good if your family members don't get it? For legwear, again, I went with my wash black Galaxy jeans from weekday. For footwear, I really felt like some colour was lacking, so I went with my chunky brown leather boots from 
Solovair, these are just the perfect way to ground the outfit, adding a bit of ruggedness from the chunky outsoles and the weathered brown leather. Finally, I just added my black cap again. In autumn, you can never go wrong with an outfit consisting of a cool jacket, some relaxed jeans, and some chunky, rugged leather boots. For outfit six, here is something for those warmer days where you want to go for some layering, but it's just too hot for something more substantial like a chunky hoodie or a jacket. We're starting with a simple base again. Up top, we have this long white sleeve cotton t-shirt. It's clean, it's comfortable, just the perfect layering item for this outfit. Over the top, I've layered a wash black short sleeve oversized tee. Contrasting these two colors in any outfit is an easy way to elevate something you may feel is quite basic. For the bottoms, I've gone with my olive green Stamray fatigue pants. These bring in that workwear vibe with their relaxed fit and the military inspired design. But where I wanted something to complete that rugged vibe so I went with my black Solovair Gibson Derbies. I really love the tones going on here. Not for everyone, I totally understand that. But it's still a great way to layer that I don't really see too often for those warmer days. For outfit 7, here we're really embracing those moody, overcast UK afternoons. When this type of weather rolls in, the only thing on my mind is being comfy and cosy, so of course we're going for some knitwear again. This beautiful fluffy mohair knit is from Destructive's Fall Winter 24 collection. It's super cropped with long exaggerated sleeves to create an interesting silhouette and it's just so unbelievably soft. Exactly what you want to throw on when the weather is looking extra gloomy. Again here we have the same wash black relax fit jeans. The relax fit of the jeans keeps with the casual and comfortable style with more than enough room to move without losing any structure. On feet, to add a bit of brightness and to break up all this grey, we have my pillar court twos from Collegian. The clean white leather pops against the darker tones of the rest of the outfit perfectly. On those really grey days when the weather is looking gloomy and uncertain, this outfit guarantees you'll stay cosy whilst looking put together. Ah. Carhartt jackets, my favorite fall jacket. I really thought these had come and gone on the trend cycle, but it really seems this type of work by jacket is holding strong, and I would be remiss if I did not make an autumn outfits video without my beloved Carhartt Detroit. Starting off, we're going for something light as this jacket is pretty darn warm. Here we just have a basic white t-shirt for the underlayer. The legwear, I really love blue and beige together, so I chucked on my wash light blue straight fit denim jeans. For footwear again, I wanted something reliable and comfortable, and nothing ticks that box more than my Gibson Derbies. And finally, of course, over the top, we have the beige car Detroit jacket. To complete the outfit, again, you can probably guess what's going to happen. I really love a pop of colour at the moment. So again, I went with my bright red wax cotton cap from Sombe Studios. Bright red just contrasts beautifully with the wash neutral tones of beige, blue and black. Everything here is pretty workwear inspired and this keeps the outfit easy to wear but still keeps it refined. For outfit number 9, I couldn't make a full outfits video without including some type of hoodie. This is just another very effortless everyday type of outfit that anyone can pull off. For the underlayer, again we're going with a simple white tee and over that I'm layering this black heavyweight hoodie. This is a new pickup for me from Destructive and this is their heavyweight hoodie coming in at 550 GSF. I really love wearing this more as an outerwear piece because it's so thick, so cosy and honestly for this time of year anything sort of layered over the top of this would just be overkill. For legwear, I'm pairing my new caramel wide fit jeans, these are from Uniqlo. I love the colour of these. The caramel tone is just warm enough to feel autumnal, but it's still neutral, making it super easy to style. On feet, I've gone with my brown Chelsea boots from Solovar again. I love the darker brown when paired with this caramel colour of the jeans. To it all together, I've thrown in my Cos leather crossbody bag again. Not only does this add some practicality, but the texture also pairs perfectly with the boots, giving the outfit some intentionality. And finally, my cream cap from ALD just to finish it off. Aren't lazy Sundays just the best? You wake up, nothing to do, but take your time and enjoy your day. In the spirit of this, I'm finishing the outfits video today with a recent favorite lazy Sunday fit. Once again, we're starting off with a plain white tee from Uniqlo for the base layer. For the bottoms, nothing is touching my legs on a lazy Sunday in autumn other than a great pair of heavyweight sweatpants. This relaxed fit pair in a classic gray mile are the perfect choice. They're probably the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my legs. For footwear, I just wanted something low key and casual. So again, I went with my collegiums as well as we're going for comfy and casual fits we always want to look for it together but the real star here is the jacket again my Cole Buxton quilted bomber jacket in this almost translucent grey just the perfect amount for warmth and cosy for your average lazy Sunday whatever you might be up to and there we are 10 of my favourite autumnal outfits please please do let me know down below which of these outfits was your favourite I really hope this video gave you some solid inspiration for your own autumnal outfits if it did though don't forget to drop a like and subscribe down below if you guys are after some more autumnal fashion content from me you can check this video out here Thanks for watching as always and have a wonderful week guys. I'll see you in the next one. See you then.